All right, now this one is about because it's rather uncommon or the reliable information online is not that consistent. We're going to start measuring and degreeing the stock B16A cams, give you guys the duration, even the loop center and the maximum lift of the B16A. And then we go with the infamous B16B Civic Type R cams. We're going to check the lift and duration and also the ideal loop centers based from the factory. So here is the infamous notepad. We're going to write down the numbers here and deduct and calculate the loop center and show you guys the duration. So, you know, let's go to the nitty gritty of things. Let's go. Okay, let's start with the B16A cam. All right, here we are. And of course, here's its top dead. We use an OEM cam gear. This way, the loop center is what it is. Okay, so now let's clip this phone to the stand here, there. Start with the intake, all right? We go for the opening at 0 0.050. Okay, we keep going till we find it. There, it's getting close. It's after the exhaust. Oh, there, there, all right? Little by little, slowly. There, all right? So it's 0 0.050. So it's at 0 0.050, the opening. Okay, let's get it close. Look, see, wait, it won't zoom, okay? Won't focus. Sorry, sorry. There. Okay. Now let's look at the degree wheel. Okay, it's there. It's three degrees before top dead center. Okay, BTDC. Let's go to the workbench. Okay, now so it's wait, let's write it down. It's three degrees before top dead center or BTDC. There. Alright. Yep, we get the duration later, okay? You guys can see, right? Okay, let's go back to the engine stand. Let's go, let's go. Now here, we actually count the lift while we're doing this. So it's, you know, we're gonna write that later. Now we get to maximum lift. And remember that, so we can write it later. Uh, on the way back, we stop at 0 0.050 before closing. So it's getting close, one more turn. Okay, there we go getting close come on come on gotta go do this slowly so that you don't go overboard you stop at 50 come on a little more all right there i'm gonna show you now so it's 0 0.050 right and that's 10 20 30 40. okay 44 degrees after bottom dead center okay and now let's write that down on the notes all right now we'll write this it's 44 degrees after bottom dead center or a b d c all right yep okay now let's go to the exhaust let's go let's go okay now here we are in the exhaust this exhaust this one all right let's go let's go this one turns in first there now we stop at 50 so it's 0 0.050 where is it there let's get close there 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 all right let me unclip the phone, show you guys. There, it's 50. And then we look down here. Here, it's okay, 10, 20. Okay, 34 before bottom dead center. All right, let's write it down. Okay, it's 34. Here's write it down here. Before bottom dead center. So BBDC. All right. Yep. Okay, now again, back to the end of stand. Let's go. And of course, if you're liking this, you gotta hit the like button. This way it gets spread out to a bigger and even wider audience like you guys. Yup, it's gonna be good for everybody, right? So that it's gonna get more views and more activity. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. This way, whenever we upload something good or something technical like this, it's going to be good for you. You got it.
and of course one of the new updates of YouTube the super thanks of course this this one any amount will be definitely be appreciated by us and you know that's when we start improving and sharing even more content and ideas to you guys so yep we're gonna keep going with this and keep improving for just for you guys this way it's gonna be all good for everybody all right now we go with the closing continue get the maximum lift and then remember so we can write it down okay wait there okay now closing and we stop at point zero fifty once again here we go it's near okay there there i'm show you there is point zero fifty right and let's look at the degrees on the degree wheel okay it's nine it's nine after top dead center so let's write it down okay now here the closing point of the exhaust is nine degrees after top dead center all right okay now let's get the duration of the intake you add the number three opening and the 44 closing to 180 degrees and that's 227 degrees so that's your duration 227 degrees at 0 0.050 for the B16A stock cam. And I remember the lift is actually, wait, let me try to see where I wrote that. I wrote it somewhere, wait, wait, let me see. Okay, there, there, there. Is 0 0.412 lift in inches. So it's 412, right? Now let's go with the exhaust here. Let's compute it now, let's show you guys. Okay, now we're gonna add the 34, and the nine after top dead center and 180 degrees and that is 223 degrees duration at 0 0.050 so that's the exhaust duration of the cams all right yep and now we're gonna rewrite it a bit later so now we go with the lift and okay yeah it's 0 0.0376 lift on the exhaust at the valves of course so basically that's the b16a stock camshaft specifications or in locally specs all right you can actually write this down or screen cap it you know whatever but later we're gonna go into the lobe centers but for now let's go with the b16b and the good thing is you guys don't have to wait we didn't record the removal and the reinstall of the b16b cams but now it's ready so shall we now all right now here we are and we use the stock factory cam gears this way it's you know it's set properly that's how b16b came from the factory right all right let's start with the intake now on the opening we stop at 0 0.050 opening, all right? Let's keep going until it stops there. Or it goes the exhaust first, and we keep going, keep going, there, there, all right? We stop there, all right, yep. Let me unclip the phone and show you guys. Here it is, all right, it's 50, all right? And it is 10, oh, 14. 14 degrees before top dead center, BTDC. So let's write it down here, all right? It is 14 BTDC opening on the intake. Yep, all right. Now let's go, keep going. And now we go with the exhaust, all right? And of course, we're gonna remember the lift and write it later. Let's go, let's go. Okay, now we go with the intake still, all right? And let's go with the closing all right keep going until we get the maximum lift all right there you go okay wait i'm gonna try to remember to write this down okay now it's good okay we go and then we stop at the point zero fifty before closing so it's one more getting there oh here's we're near all right we stop at point zero fifty Okay, there. Okay, now let me unclip the phone and show you guys. It's on the closing side. Here, let me show you. There you go, it's 0 0.050. And then here, it's, wait, let me, let's move this handle, wait, there. 
10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, 44 after bottom dead center. Okay, so now we write that here. The closing is 44 A, B, D, C after bottom dead center. Okay, that's it for the intake. Now let's go back to the engine stand for the exhaust. The exhaust here, all right? Now we stop at 0 0.050 on the opening. So let's continue, all right? Wait, come on, come on, let's keep going. When it starts moving, we stop at 0 0.050, all right? There you go, it's starting to move. We stop at 0 0.050, there, there, okay, perfect. Let me clip the phone, let me show you guys, there. And here it's 10, 20, 30, 42, before bottom dead center, BBDC. So let's write that down here on the exhaust. 42, BBDC, before bottom dead center. All right, now let's go for the closing on the exhaust. And here we are, we keep moving in the same direction, counterclockwise, of course. And let's double check on the lift when it stops there. All right, all right, I got it. I got the lift now, let's continue. And we stop at 0 0.050 before closing. Where is it? It's getting close. Yep, there, all right. Let me unclip the phone and show you guys here. It's 0 0.050, right? And then it's after top the oh it's 10 10 degrees after top dead center ATDC. So let's write it here. So it's 10 degrees ATDC. Alright. So that's 14 plus 44 plus 180. That's 238. Okay, so that's 238 degrees duration at 0 0.050 here all right there you go okay yep and now we write the lift it's 0 0.454 inches at the valves so a hey, it's significantly more than the b16a so now wait let's compute the exhaust now it's 42 plus 10 plus 180 degrees so that's 232 so that's 232 degrees at 0 0.050 duration, all right? Or 232 degrees duration at 0 0.050, all right? And then the lift is 0 0.418 inches at the valves. So, yep, that's significantly more than the B16A. So you can see here, it's a lot, right? Okay, now wait, let's... Let's write this down on both for both the cams, the B16A and the B16B, so you can see the difference. Yep, that is quite significant actually, right? Yeah, yep, yep. Okay, now we go to the lobe centers where most get confused. So it's 227 divided by 2, and then you subtract the lower number, which is 3, and you get, wait, wait, okay, there. 10.5 so that's 10.5 lobe center what we will do right here write it here so it's 110.5 lobe center sorry about that all right so now let's go with the exhaust we divide this by two and then subtract number nine after top dead center and you get 102.5 lobe center all right there and now, okay, so that's basically 110.5 lobe center on the intake and 102.5 lobe center on the exhaust. Let's go to the type R. Okay, now here we divide the duration is 238 divided by 2 and then we subtract the 14. Okay, and we get 105. So that's 105 lobe center on the intake. All right. Yeah. Okay, now let's go with the exhaust. It's, you divide this duration by two and then subtract number 10, which is 106 degrees lobe center. All right, yep, that's it. That's what we got, right? We circle this so that, you know, we can see it better, but we're gonna write it down better for you guys so you, later so you can actually write down notes. 
And here you can see the difference. The intake lift of the Type R is significantly more than the exhaust, the, than the B16A, and even on the exhaust. So that is why the CTR cam is actually quite excellent for turbo. So now here, let's see the comparison so you guys can check and write it down. And so here you can see the difference is quite significant, right? So basic, basically the B16B is a good step up from the B16A. And then that is also why the Pro 1 cams is often overlooked. But when you think about it, the Pro 1 is like the B16B to the B16A. So it's, a, it's like another step up before going to like, let's say Pro 2 or Tuner 2. That is going to be good, right? And also... We will be rebuilding a B20 VTEC on GSR cams. So we're gonna look into that and show you guys how to make good power on the GSR cams. So you can click here for that.